I'm gonna try my best. You're good. <laughs> oh, that's so good. I don't know now why y'all are known for your burger. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> What's up, America's Best Restaurants? I am Danielle DeTemo with the ABR Roadshow, joining you from Cambria, Wisconsin today. We're at a place called The Dump Bar and Grill. Let's go in and see what it's all about. Welcome to the dump. Yes, very excited to be here. Okay, so you both are the managers. You got the, the matching outfits on, <laughs> matching shirts on today, looking fresh. Yeah. Okay, so really excited to be here. This place seems like it's really important to the community. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about it. I mean, we like to just think we're a hangout for everybody to come, bring your kids, your parents. Um, your grandparents come for a birthday, an anniversary, a new job promotion. We just like everyone to feel welcome and think we kind of bring that small town charm um, with our service and our food. Love that. And you've been here, I mean, for about 15 yep. years. So in this place, I mean, it's been here for how long? Like, uh, Jack's had it 20 years. Okay. Like, since 74. So you've been, here, you've been here a while. So yeah. you probably, you've seen a lot. So talk to me a little bit about that. Um, it's. It's grown for sure. We started out, we were a bar with music and we stayed open till 2 a.m. And now we've turned it around to more food, dining, and eatery. family. Yeah, eatery. I love that. And I know we're gonna be getting some good food today. Yeah. We have some items I can expect, so I'm really excited. <laughs> yeah, so we're definitely known for our burgers. Um, so we're gonna let you kind of get your hands dirty in the kitchen, putting a couple together, and then. But first. Oh, yes. <laughs> The Bloody Mary. Gotta start with the Bloody Mary. Of course. Start with that. With cocktail. <laughs> That's what our customers do. So So what's the, what's on the Bloody Mary? So everyone does their Bloody Mary yeah, differently. Yeah, so it's a house-made rim, mm -hmm. rim salt that we actually do ourselves. Ooh. Our boss makes it. And then <laughs> we like to keep it really simple. Simple's better. Vodka, Worcestershire, celery salt, a bloody mix. Ooh. Simple garnish. Throw your shall lemon I, in there, shall pickle. I dip, shall I dip the pickle yes. in? Like, yes. Why not? I love a good pickle. <laughs> And then we're known for chasers here, so that's always a thing too in Wisconsin. You get a beer chaser, so. That's really good. Yeah. Ladies, we're so excited to be here. Thank you for being here. Of course, I know we're gonna meet the owner shortly, learn yeah. more about the history, but now the, we start with food though, so we yes. gotta head back into the yes. kitchen. Yes. Let's yes. do it. <laughs> okay, we've made our way back in the kitchen now. Chelsea is joining us, we got Evie again. Chelsea's actually gonna show us how to assemble one of your burgers. Which one are you gonna be showing me? The topper burger. The topper burger. Okay, she's got a lot of burgers already on the grill. So, okay, I'm All just right. gonna, you take it away, girl. <laughs> okay, so the topper. That already looks so, so good. So we're kind of showcasing, if you wanna bring them all off, Chelsea. Yeah, okay. she's got a lot we're of burgers, just, bring them all we out. We love okay. to showcase all of our patties are hand patted every day. We hand butter every bun. We use old school Corral plates. Um, just kind of back to that mom and pop Wisconsin way that we try to keep alive, even in some of our growth as a business. Yeah. Um, so we're really known for our burgers here amongst other foods. So we're gonna show you a variety of some of yes. our favorites and our customers' favorites. A couple that have been featured as burgers of the month that we eventually put on the menu. Oh my gosh. Um, so we'll kind of just walk you guys yeah. down, but we'll start with that topper. Yep. Get some sides on the plates. Mm -hmm. We love spuds here, so no spud is too much. So <laughs> Chelsea, take us through the yeah, topper. So the topper we're going to make right, right here. Okay, so let's do it. Start with bacon. Yes. I'm already excited. There's bacon. <laughs> <laughs> and then we do a little bit of our onion tanglers. Throw that on there. Oh, God. this is gonna be fun for me to try. They warned me. And then chipotle sauce. Ooh, and is that sauce like what is it? Sweet. Southwest. Okay. Yep. Adobo chipotle. 
Yep, and okay. then we can do fries on the plate for you, okay. and we're gonna let you dig in. All right, should I should I try it now? Is this? I don't even know. <laughs> so I tell, fire thing. I tell everyone to smash it. Okay. Um, but if you want to cut it, feel free. Okay. All right, I'm gonna smash. I'm gonna smash it. Gonna yeah. Just. <laughs> 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 okay. Woo! That was fun. Let me, let me work right here. Okay. I'm gonna try my best. You're good. We got towels. I'm gonna fall over my face. <laughs> oh, that's so good. I know now why y'all are known for your burger. <laughs> oh my god. And the seasoning. But I can taste that. The seasoning when you were like making it, I can really taste that yeah. too. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And then I see you have chips as some of the side too. Yeah. So, so what do the burgers come with? Fries. Everything chips. comes with chips on the side. You can upgrade to something more. Ooh. So that's our white tail with chai fries. <laughs> oh, is that sweet sweet potato? Sweet potato yes. on the Tennessee whiskey. This is a fun burger here in the center. That's our Boss Burger. Um, that's gonna have. Just a standard bacon cheese with peanut butter on it. Peanut butter, now yeah. that's interesting right there. And then the white tail. Okay, you got waffle fries too. Yeah. So a really big variety. We have everything. Everything, literally. I know we're gonna meet the owner next. Yes. And we're gonna feature some more dishes, so thank yeah. you ladies so much. Thank and you, thank I'm you. I'm taking another bite on this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have made our way outside now. We were just in the kitchen and there was a ton of burgers made for us. We got some of them on the table now. <laughs> but is it true that you sold like over 50, around 50,000 this year? Uh, so far this year. <laughs> <It's like> 50, <laughs> like 56, um, yeah, so as, as, as of August, we're, we're, we sold just over 50,000. And oh uh, that puts us on pace for like an 80,000. 80,000 burgers this year. And I can see why, because they're delicious. And, and by the way, everyone, we are now meeting the owner, Jack. I know it's been, it's been a long awaited meet with Jack. We, <laughs> we met Katie a little earlier, but Jack, I, we told you, we're putting you in front of the camera today. All right. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> yeah. he, he's got to do it. Okay, so speaking of, I heard there's an interesting story to how the name, The Dump, came about. Yeah. So let's, let's tell it. <laughs> okay, so uh, The Dump. <laughs> I actually like telling this story. Um, it's, it's pretty cute. So the bar had been here uh, for many, many years, had been different names th through the years, um, but always just a, a, a tavern. Uh, it was Evans's Pool Hall at one point. Um, they had multiple pool tables back in the 40s, I think. About 19, it was 1974, uh, Bill and Lori Westerman from, from uh, down the road a piece here, Beaver Dam, Wisconsin purchased the bar from the Hurtagic family. It was called the Harmony. And uh, nobody had really stuck any money into the building for, for a number of years. And uh, Bill was sitting at one of the tables inside uh, and, uh, with a couple, three of his cronies. And uh, he said, well, I guess I bought a bar. And uh, it actually, uh, one of the gentlemen sitting with him was local fella, Chuck Willard. and. Uh, Bill looked at Chuck, he says, uh, I don't know what I'm gonna name it, it's such a dump. <laughs> and uh, oh my God. At, at which point, That's Chuck so says, I think you just named it. <laughs> the dump. So uh, it's actually been the dump ever since. It so, is funny, because uh, you do wonder, you see the dump, you're like, hmm, why did they name this place the dump? Where did that <laughs> come from? So. Let's talk about the other food items that you brought out for me today, whoever wants to explain. <laughs> Go ahead, Katie. <laughs> So we have our Friday fish fry. We've won many awards for um, the cod and shrimp. You are trying the combo today. Okay. But we sell every Friday um, 100, 100 pounds of um, fish and then about 40 pounds of shrimp. Whoa. And then what's the sauce? That so that, that we do a homemade um, tartar sauce okay. and that's our cocktail sauce. Which one should I which one would you recommend? I like the tartar sauce for the fish. Which is? That one, yep. The one I was holding? Yep. Okay, I'm gonna try this, cause y'all won awards for it, so I'm like, <laughs> we doing it, we trying to, okay, I think I got, me trying that burger was, that was quite entertaining back in the kitchen. I don't think this one will be as messy as I got with the burger. <laughs> burger. 
Oh yeah, that's good. <laughs> I know why I got an award for this. And this is, you said it was big on Friday nights? Yep, Friday night fish fry. All right. Good old Wisconsin See y'all on Friday. Friday. <laughs> Wings too? Wings is Wednesday. We go through about six cases, which is 1,500 wings? Uh, yeah, just about 1,500 wings. Oh my gosh. On a, uh, on a Wednesday night, yeah. Yeah, and we then, have a line out the door, people wow. waiting for tables. Oh yeah, the food is definitely yeah. a oh, big draw. Yeah. I mean, the, the food, I just can't even explain how amazing your food has in the presentation well, of everything. It's just excellent. That. The, I mean, out there's a stage out here. Are you hosting events? I mean, this is a big spot. And I feel like people come here for this spot. They come they to do. this town because they're coming here. Well, I I think that's fair to say without, you know, being too forward, but uh, a town you know, with no stoplight. We yeah. bring in people from all over. Yeah. Yeah, it's not like we we'll always stop at the dump for lunch since we're in town at the clinic anyway, you know? I mean, there is really no reason to come to the village. Yeah. Um, but we get just an enormous amount of traffic. There's there's times where you can walk through a, a, the buildings plumb full, and uh, I grew up here, and I, and I can walk through here on, on any particular night where it's very busy, and I may not know anybody. So it's just a testament to, to the travelers that come, you know, that uh, the back to the destination theme, I guess, you know, they, they get in the car and they, let's go to the dump tonight. So we're just super, yeah. super fortunate, yep. um, you know, that we're, we're supported that greatly and, and, you know, we appreciate it. I want to end on the, the old fashioned. <laughs> is, this like, is this like a Wisconsin old fashioned? Mm -hmm. I told them like first time in Wisconsin, it is. so I didn't. I don't know what to expect. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So what what makes it a Wisconsin <laughs> old fashioned? Like what's you know I don't know that why Wisconsin is the only state that they make an old fashioned. And it's, it's true, it, you go an anywhere. An old fashioned has a certain ingredients in it, but mm. it's really not just about the ingredients. It's it's the order in which the ingredients are put in the glass okay. Okay. that really makes or breaks it. Okay. Um, so you muddle the bitters and the sugar. That's really good. And then you put the ice yeah, really. I'm gonna them. say I don't like, I really don't drink old fashions. Like it's just not something I think I would no. like, but. I like yeah. this. So it could be whiskey <laughs> like or this. brandy old fashioned, sweet or sour. Evie taught me if you have a perfect old fashioned, you will have exactly three layers. It'll be three different colors. Okay. Um, I like that. Well, everything has been fantastic today. Thank you all for welcoming us and great place yeah, you got absolutely. here. So we've had a blast. Well, we're thrilled to have you. <laughs> should I take yeah. another sip of the old fashioned? I think I should. I am You're not a driving, fan. are you? Okay. We, we, got, okay. we got our awesome camera crew. <laughs> We're going to let them drive, but I got to take another sip because it's delicious. Thank you both so much. <laughs> This is the Dump Bar and Grill right here in Cambria, Wisconsin. They are one of America's best restaurants. And for the ABR Red Show, I'm Danielle DeTomo, and we'll see y'all next time.